In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Cinema 4D's hair tools in order to custom paint your fractures onto your objects. This technique was inspired by the work of Daria Ozturk, better known as Yader online, and he's got an entire SIGGRAPH 2016 presentation that I highly recommend. So let's get into this. Go ahead and add a cube to your scene and make it a bit thinner and extend it out along Z. This is uh, sort of a simulacrum of a, a road that we might want to fracture. Now, I'm going to go to MoGraph and add in a rotary fracture object and drag my cube in here. Now, if I wanted to get some nice fine fractures along the root here, I might take my sketch tool and draw out a spline and then drag that inside. And that'll get us some part of the way there. And if I increase the point amount, you'll see that we're getting this very linear result and the sort of gaps that are unexpected are based on my camera orientation close but not quite what we really want. So I'm going to delete this and we're now going to create a hair object. So go to simulate hair objects add hair and what this is going to do is add a series of guides sticking out of our object and if I drag this into my Vronoi fracture as a source we'll see that it's had a slight shift on uh, our topology here and there's some changes that I want to make in order to better suit this to our goal. So click on your hair, go to the Guides tab, and set count to 1, let's say, and then segments to 1. So we want to make this as simple as possible. And root, I'm going to change here from Polygon Vertex to Custom, which means that there are no guides until we add them in ourselves. Next up, I'm going to go to Hairs, and I'm going to set segments to 1. And that's because we're going to be generating some polygons, and I want to make sure that I don't have too many. And if I go to my Generate tab here, I can now change my type from None to Flat, which is basically going to create a triangle for every single hair or hair guide. So just confirming that my guides and my hairs all have one segment, perfect. And uh, oh, last but not least, let's, not, let's set this length down to something nice and low like zero. OK. With this right here, we can now add in some guides. So I'm going to go to Simulate, Hair Tools, Add Guides. And now as I click and drag, you'll see that guides are being painted onto the surface and they are fracturing my object. Now I'm going to reduce my length here down to zero and I'm going to paint out a path for my fracture. That's looking pretty good. Now I can also click and drag and sort of hover in one area to keep adding fracture points. And if I want to maintain a certain minimum distance between them, this minimum spacing option is really great. Or if I want to just tighten up my fracture a bit, I can reduce my radius and then just paint along the center of this existing fracture. And that's pretty much the whole technique. Now that I've got this, I can, for example, come in here, go to MoGraph, Effector, push apart. These start to push apart. I might even push them apart along Y. Nice low radius like 5 allows you to see how these smaller pieces are uh, localized in this area right here. Now, one other thing that I find very cool about this is that because the hair object is built for growing on moving surfaces, if I come in here and grab my cube and, for example, adjust its width, you'll see that these fracture points are adjusting to match this surface. Again, this is a really cool technique and I can't thank Yader enough for sharing it. 